How to Be Remarkable by Seth Godin Understand the urgency of the situation. Half measures simply won't do. The only way to grow is to abandon your strategy of doing what you did yesterday, but better. Commit. Remarkable doesn't mean remarkable to you. It means remarkable to me. Am I going to make a remark about it? If not, then you're average. And average is for losers. Being noticed is not the same thing as being remarkable. Running down the street naked will get you noticed, but it won't accomplish much. It's easy to pull off a stunt, but not useful. Extremism in the pursuit of remarkability is no sin. In fact, it's practically a requirement. People in first place, those considered the best in the world, those are the folks that get what they want. Rock stars have groupies because they're stars, not because they're good looking. Remarkability lies in the edges. The biggest, fastest, slowest, richest, easiest, most difficult. It doesn't always matter which edge, more that you're at or beyond the edge. Not everyone appreciates your efforts to be remarkable. In fact, most people don't. So what? Most people are ostriches, head in the sand, unable to help you anyways. Your goal isn't to please everyone. Your goal is to please those that actually speak up, spread the word, buy new things, or hire the talented. If it's in a manual, if it's the accepted wisdom, if you can find it in a dummy's book, then guess what? It's boring, not remarkable. Part of what it takes to do something remarkable is to do something first and best. It's not really as frightening as it seems. They keep the masses in line by threatening us with all manner of horrible outcomes if we dare step out of line. But who loses their jobs at the mass layoffs? Who has trouble finding a new gig? Not the remarkable minority, that's for sure. If you put it on a t-shirt, would people wear it? No use being remarkable at something that people don't care about. Not all people, mind you, just a few. A few people insanely focused on what you do is far, far better than thousands of people who might be mildly interested, right? Number 10. What's fashionable soon becomes unfashionable. While you might be remarkable for a time, if you don't reinvest and reinvent, you won't be for long. Instead of resting on your laurels, you must commit to being remarkable again quite soon.